You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and I am doing a game called Monster Tort. It's a Haba game made in Germany. Let me show you the rest of the box. Now, I, uh, there's not much more I can actually read on the front. I can't read the rest of this, so let's flip it around. I did see there was a USA or English fl USA flag, so some writing that I know I can read. So let me do that for you, but as you can see... Uh, looks like happy kids playing a game. You've got marbles, uh, little bowls. Looks like a neat box because the box becomes the actual base of the game. So it's all set up, it looks like. Let's uh, check into the monster uh, bake here. All right, so monster bake. It says, in the monster kitchen, everything is topsy-turvy. It all has to be stirred and kneaded, then weighed and tested. Oh, well, plop the glass with the colorful sugar balls in the middle of the mixing bowl. Who can help the monster bakers decorate the cakes properly? As everybody simultaneously stirs their spoon in the mixing bowl, it is not very easy to scoop out the right balls. A monstrously fast game of skill. All right, so let's see. Pretty neat. Let's uh, just get ready to open, because it's always fun opening games. I did take the plastic off and, and got my cards ready on the inside just to make it easier for me. Sometimes it's hard to open those. And here is the instructions. Here are the cards. So I can get those out real quick. And then let's take a look at all the pieces. There's four spoons. All right. There are wood spoons. Actual wood. And then there's these four nicely crafted wood bowls. Pretty neat. So let's set those. And then... The marbles, this little instruction here, and then this uh, little sheet. Not sure what that is, so we'll find that out. Looks like rubber feet. And then here's what the marbles look like. And they also appear to be uh, wood, which is really neat. They're light, so they're not heavy. Let's uh, check out what this little sheet is. This looks like um, the warning. Okay, so it's a warning in different languages. And then the booklet. Let's see. So it has all these different languages you pick out the one you could read so let's keep looking monster bake English so let's take a quick look uh, in the okay so we read that uh, well similar and then you can read that though if you want and the contents one baking ball four cooking spoons four wooden bowls 30 wooden sugar balls in six colors 20 cake cards and four anti-slip patches ah that's what we need the cake cards have illustrations of many colored sugar balls players stir the balls sure the Stir the sugar balls in the mixing bowl with your cooking spoons at the same time and try as fast as possible to spoon out the right balls. Only the fastest one will receive the cake card as a reward. Okay. So I need to get the feet on the bottom. Let me get rid of some of these here. Store them in here for a second. So I can flip this over. Get that set because I can see that being helpful. Especially if you have four people all, you know, trying to dig into the game at the same time so let's flip it over but while I do that let's take a look at the box look at that very nicely patterned pretty neat here's the inside look at that colorful lots of different characters there making it fun for you okay so four rubber feet let's do that put them right in the corner And one more. There's a fifth, looks like. So I'm just going to put that right in the center. Let's flip this back over. That's better. Much better. Okay. So how do we set up the game board? Let's put these back in. So that's where you know they are. We'll put one there. One there. One there. And one there. Okay. And then we'll give each person their spoon. Even though it's just me. And then we'll uh, see what's next. Let's take a look at the cards. Okay, so there's the ones. Let's see how this goes. The twos. The threes. And then the fours. Now the object, obviously, now is to flip one over, probably. Let's see. Prep of the game. 
Uh, okay, got all, all, okay. How to play. Whoever's quickest at naming three ingredients for a cake should begin and turn over the first card. Okay. Place it face up on the table so that the other players can see it clearly. The card shows which sugar balls you have to collect in order to decorate the cake. All right. Take your cooking spoon in one hand. The player who uncovered the card shouts, to the monster cake. Ready, steady, go. Now you all try at the same time as fast as you can to spoon up the corresponding sugar ball from the mixing bowl, balancing it on a large cooking spoon until you reach your wooden bowl. You may only use one hand. So a couple little tidbits here. Whoever by mistake places a wrong sugar ball in his wooden bowl must immediately return any balls that are already in his bowl to the mixing bowl. Whoever is the first to have all the balls on the cake card in his wooden bowl shouts loud, Monster stop! Immediately all players should put down their cooking spoons. As a reward, he receives the cake card and places it face down beside him. If anybody shouts, Monster stop! at the wrong time, all the players are given a cake card from the pile. All 30 sugar balls are placed back in the large mixing bowl. The last player to have won a cake card uncovers a new card for the next round. All the players look at the card, pick up their cooking spoons, and once again shout to the monster cake. Ready, steady, go. The first player to collect five cards is the best monster baker and the winner of the game. Okay. So let's just say I haven't mixed these up, and we'll do, let's do a one. We'll start with a one. Looks easy. Flipped over. Everybody sees one red sugar ball. Well, let me go in here. I could see this being a little challenge here. Especially if everybody's trying to move around and they're just flying in all directions. Let's get in that game a little bit more so you can kind of see what I see here. Whoa. Let's turn it so it fits right in the camera. How's that? So imagine now two or three people trying to get one red ball. Okay, so I got it. Look at that. And I collect and I say, Monster, stop. But you know what? Let's do it again officially now here we go four here's the colors can you see them pink green orange red now everybody's waiting because they want to get started but until I say to the monster cake ready steady go so everybody's gonna be moving around so we need a red so this guy gets a red and then oh I never put that other red back but I'll put it back now and then an orange here, this guy's helping this guy. See, he helped him. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see what I'm collecting here. And then a green. So this guy gets the green. And then the last one is the pink. I can see this being quite fun and exciting. But I also see people probably doing something like, you know, looks like he's going, oh, sorry, like that. So they're going to have some rules there for people who like to mess around so that's it that's the four and i say monster stop and everybody knows that that person collected the correct ones wow this looks like it's going to be a fun game best played with four people probably just to make it chaotic so overall i like it it's very colorful looks like it's going to be fun as you know it's called monster tort let me bring the cover back up here it's a haba game and thanks for watching it's really appreciated if you want to check that description below to see other hobby games, do that, all right? Or search our channel. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.